So we had a question about a user who all of a sudden on their TD Snap had these little arrows at the top and the bottom of the pages. So you can see on my screen here that those arrows are down here on the bottom left side and the bottom right side. Now those arrows are here for people who are using TD Snap who are unable to swipe. So if you're able to swipe, you know if you go into one of your word lists and you have um, you choose a page if there's more buttons on that page you typically would swipe up or swipe down to get to more buttons um, but some people can't access it they can't swipe so for those people they're able to use these little arrows which are officially called navigation buttons and they can press the navigation button it'll take them down to more of the same types of um, words and messages um, so you can go down a page, you can go up a page. Um, it allows you to move around. So let's look at why this is on here and what we can do to change it if we need to. If we go to that top right corner and select our edit button, which is the cog and the little pencil, we're going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to click these little buttons on the left side and expand this. And I'm going to go to my user tab. On the left hand side, you'll see access method. And you can see right now I have it set to touch, but I have allowed the navigation type in those options to be navigation buttons. So that's the little arrows. If you have touch set and you go to um, uh, your options, you can choose which type of navigation you want, swiping or navigation buttons. So if I click the little button on the right hand side, the little carrot, um, I can go over here and I can pick whether I want navigation buttons that's what's checked right now or I can go and pick swiping so if I can do some if I want to swipe up and down or I could have both so swiping and navigation buttons so if you are a touch access user so you're just touching your screen quickly to make it activate then you can just select swiping if that's something that you are able to do if you need to have a button instead of a swipe maybe you have a key guard on your device that doesn't allow you to swipe um, you would choose navigation buttons so let's choose swiping i'm going to click done and you can see that the little navigation buttons are gone the little arrows are gone at this point and we can swipe up and swipe down okay so why might they be on your device someone may have put change the access method on your device maybe your user needs to have the selection slowed down a little bit so they need to press and hold to be able to be accurate to activate it so in that case we would have chosen the little carrot and we would have gone over here to access method and maybe we might choose to, to um, put touch enter on there now touch enter means it's going to activate but we can set how long you have to hold down the button so you can see under options we have hold time currently it's set to off but we're going to change that and i'm going to set that to a medium you can change it to fast medium or slow i'm going to set that to a to a medium hold down so it's going to require me to hold the button down for one second before it starts to speak now this can be really helpful if you have some some difficulty in hand control and being able to um, to accurately select a button so you maybe you need to be able to hold it down because you don't want accidental touches on your screen to be to activate buttons so let me show you what that looks like so I'm going to click done and then when I go to select say I select the word right um, if I just tap it the little the little um, blue right borders gonna come on there it's not gonna activate until I hold it so you can see if I'm just tapping it it's not activating if I'm running my finger around the screen it's not activating it but if I stop and I hold it right then it will speak the message out so that would be a reason that you might have it on there um, other access methods that you can have on here if I go back to my user so I went to the um, edit mode and back to the user access methods um, I could go to touch enter I can expand that out and maybe I want it to be touch exit so the difference in touch enter and touch exit is touch enter it speaks after you hold it down for a certain period of time touch exit will speak after you let go of the button so you can drag your finger along the screen but as long as you keep your finger down it will not activate until you release it so let me show you what that looks like so if I'm on my the same page 
and I'm dragging around my screen. And maybe I need to do this because it's difficult for me to put my finger down and lift it back up again um, very quickly so I can drag around the screen and nothing's going to happen. Even if I stop and hold it, nothing will happen. But the second I let go, right, it will speak. So you can see the value of that for somebody. Um, other times that you might change the access, if I go to my user, set my access method, I'm going to go back again to this where it says the access method is touch exit. I'm going to click that button or touch that button. Um, it's going to give me other options. Um, you may have auditory touch. Now, auditory touch works. It's kind of unique. Um, basically, what it does, it gives you a little auditory preview of what the button's going to say. And we can, st we can change... Um, the volume of that or the voice of that. Let me show you what that looks like. So if I close out of my edit mode and I start to drag around. On. It's going to give me an auditory cue before I select the button. So the first time I select it, it's going to speak in a, a different voice. In this case, I've got a kind of a weird voice on there, so excuse me for that. But it'll speak it, and if that's the one I want to say, then I select it again. Done. And it says the message. So that's helpful for people who maybe are learning their symbols, um, don't really know what they mean yet, or people who have a vision impairment who can move around on the screen but they can't quite see with accuracy to be able to tell which, which symbol that they're on. So maybe as they're first learning the location, they might would use it. Okay, other options, if we go to user and we go to access method, um, you can also have on here access method of um, eye gaze. So on, I'm on my iPad right now, so eye gaze is not showing, it's not allowing me because it doesn't have the eye gaze access on it, the TD pilot in this case. The other option is for scanning, and that's going to be for people who are using um, a switch to scan through the buttons on their page and then select. That's a whole different thing to talk about, so I'm not going to get into that. Today, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to touch enter. I'm going to say that I want my navigation to be swiping, and then I'm just going to close this out, and it's going to get rid of all of those little arrows. You can see they're all gone now and I can just swipe to move around on my screen. And that's it.